Now it's time to break it. <laughs> Coming to a theater near you. Welcome back to the split. <laughs> Welcome back to the Gilmore Goyles. Uh, Welcome Gilmore back Goyles. to the Gilmore Goyles. Welcome back to Split Screeners, guys. We're doing a gaming episode with our host, Nicholas Limbloom. Yo. Aaron Mazaros. Uh. Zach Renner. Welcome back, guys. I just gave Gavin. <laughs> wow, the disrespect that's been shown here. He's just. How do you come to me <laughs> on the <laughs> day of my heart's wedding? Oh, yeah. I just wanted to introduce myself. Wedding, whatever. You've just disrespected me. All right, me shut the fuck board. up. Welcome back to Split Screeners <laughs> Gaming episode. Today we. Uh... Are we talking about some games? <gasps> games. Ooh, shit. Not a whole lot of news has been dropped lately. Um, biggest. Big news was probably PSVR 2. We discussed it briefly. Not a lot has been announced. Other uh, basic specs, eye tracking, uh, 120 hertz, about 110. The new control degree field of view, haptic feedback, dual sense type controllers. Which is which, what I've been oh, those PS3 move controllers. Finally but being retired. Snap to movement kept me from playing so much VR games. Yeah. I was um, like, what's nice is a lot of those games all add the settings that you could do smooth turning. Yeah. Yeah, so. but it should be good here, especially with the higher frame uh, rate. Honestly, the thing that caught my eye the most on this was the fact that it has the eye tracking. Yeah. And I think yeah, that's I'm super excited cool. to see As that. I don't see that on any VR headsets out there right now. Except for a few of the really high end ones. Yeah. And it's like, and knowing Sony, they'll probably make it like, yeah. probably around the same price. Three ninety nine ninety nine. I'm guessing coming out of this price would be my guess. I'm hoping that would be a perfect yeah. price point again to really give you quality and I'm, price. I'm gonna drop that just so I can play Minecraft. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Minecraft has a VR Minecraft mod. VR, it's pretty cool. That is, it's a it's a legit thing. I forget you can do that on PlayStation. Yeah. Well, yeah, I don't know. I've played it on my PC. Plus, in VR. Among Us is coming out on VR. Yes. Oh yeah. Honestly, yeah. We gotta play that. <laughs> um, I remember I just, last year there was a big push with Sony announcing a lot of their studios were going to have to have VR modes mm -hmm. in a lot of games. So we're probably going to see, unlike this generation, uh, all of their first party studios hopefully having a VR mode. Or spin off. I'd like that. Yeah, I'd like some, that the, some form of that. Be the norm. It'd be cool to get like a, especially for me, like a VR football game like Madden would be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, they were really pushing with people signing on that they would have non-VR and VR modes. So they're really getting behind VR. So it's going to be good. So I'm a big flight simulator kind of um, game kind of guy. Um, and this was before Star Wars Squadrons came out, which was an all, almost all VR game. Mm -hmm. but actually, you could play the whole game. You could game, play the whole thing. Whole thing in VR. Um, the newest Ace Combat, I think it's Ace Combat 7 or 8, um, released... And you couldn't do the whole game in VR, but they did have a VR um, section mm -hmm. where they had like five missions. And it was really cool because you'd be right there in the cockpit. You could see oh, all yeah. the details and everything. And you'd almost get like motion sick. Well, you would sometimes get motion sick just doing all that aerial combat oh, and stuff. Yeah. It was so much fun though because you. It's awesome. It's like you were right there. Just right in the cockpit. Yeah, I remember when I first, my first VR headset was the PSVR. Got it at mm. launch. And um, similar experience, and they never did anything with it at the time. But the original Star Wars Battlefront on oh. PS4 had a VR mission. Oh uh, yeah, I um, remember that. I showed you. I think that's yeah. why you went and bought a PSVR. Was you played that at my house? But where you sit in the X-wing and just sitting in there, looking around in an X-wing for the first time in that universe. We don't going have through doing the run. That was just we incredible. Don't, we don't have video footage of this. But you can just see the tears coming down my eyes through yes. the VR headset. Of, uh, I'm just in the X-Wing like, oh my god! And I'd really hoped that that was just the beginning of the Battlefront 2 was going to have a full VR mode. Never happened. No. They did have Squadrons come out, but 
I didn't sadly, quite nail it for me. I sadly could not fit this over my VR headset. <laughs> it would have been perfect. It would have been cool. You'd have to mod it, but yeah. Yeah, just maybe take this out. <laughs> yeah. Paint the VR headset in there. Yeah, that'd be dope. That would be cool. There was then mock up little custom ones films. like that that like fans were trying to get um, Sony to have fun, but oh, that would have been so cool. Yeah. So that's going to be cool. Um, we don't know a whole lot. We don't know a release date yet. Or a price no point. release date, no price point, all speculation. The earliest we would see this would be probably this November, and that's you, a long shot, I'm thinking. I, was yeah. like, I remember I sent it to you guys, it was back in like 2019, 2018, uh, when they had the test footage mm -hmm. with the with like the new controllers they were doing. And yeah. And which was weird because they just kind of like dropped it and then nothing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we saw the controllers a year ago, and everybody was happy that we weren't stuck with moves. <laughs> yeah. I was like, um, moves aren't bad, but they're definitely not a fun VR controller. It, they're a PS3 peripheral that they had a million of in warehouses and had to yeah. do something. Do you know what works better? better? The PS2 iToy. Oh, shit. I never actually had that. I, I, oh, yeah. remember, the, remember the fucking Harry Potter game? Yeah. And we'd get in trouble constantly because we would grab it brooms. Harry Potter, it was... Uh, the ninja fighting one. No, there was a spell book one, but it wasn't Harry Potter. But that's what it was based on. They just didn't have the license. No, they had... We had the it's actual... Like spell book, I think. No, they had an actual Harry Potter game. I don't for the I toy. With the I toy, I don't remember that. I yeah, remember I, I owned book. it because I remember because one, you had to uh, smash the chocolate frogs. Oh. Hmm. Well, I missed that. And then we had another one, which was the, the, the ninja ones where you had to knock them off the mm -hmm. side. Yeah. And that game was fun. That game was fun. So yeah, the only game that they've announced for the PSVR 2 so far has been like a spinoff for Horizon. I think it's Horizon Call of the Call Mountain. Call of the Mountain, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Um, haven't seen a whole lot on it, but super exciting to be in that world. I hope it's VR. not just like, ex like an experience where you're walking around yeah. the world. Uh, I really want to get heavy into that combat with the um, yeah. mecha mechanized animals and stuff. That'd be really dope. It'd be awesome riding around on one. Yeah. Yeah, I think There's a the, lot you could do. In the demo, you actually get to, like, the shows you walking up next to on the tall necks. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, that will be awesome. And hopefully we'll hear more soon, get some more announcements. Mm -hmm. and, and you won't have to have a camera. It's got inside-out tracking, so built-in yeah. cameras like so, most of the new headsets. Other than Let's Play, is my $100 PS5 camera is <laughs> useless. Yes, it is not necessary for VR. You can't like even, you it's even, going to be. Can't even use it for the uh, PSVR one. Mm -hmm. No, you have to have an adapter. No, for you have, to have I have the adapter. I have the adapter sitting right next to my PlayStation <laughs> Five. I I haven't had really the space to bust out uh, the PlayStation VR because, like, while you can be while you can be used while sitting, it is not like I have Oculus games I can sit on my bed and play. Yeah, uh, I have almost zero. PlayStation VR games that I could sit in bed and play without smacking the fuck out of everything. Squadrons, you, you, you can do squadrons. Pro without, oh, yeah, you, you, like you might be able to get away with uh, Rush of Blood. Yeah. But it's... Fun game. Sitting games, you would be fine with. Right? But Some PSVR games. 1 is pretty outdated now. It's yeah. five years old. I was like, no I was so not anything. top of the line. Yeah. But, great. But the new one... I wish it was fully wireless, but you do have to have one cable mm -hmm. going to your PS5. But Which is better that's than a lot better than the current setup with was PSVR. It, was it like three or four cables? You've got a USB cable, HDMI cable, probably something else. I don't remember. Right. Going into your uh, processing box, and then which then goes HDMI, yeah. power. And then one going to your mess. TV. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it'll be nice just going one cable into your PlayStation. Mm -hmm. Hopefully through the USB-C port on the front. Yeah. So you should be able to trade in your original play. VR. Get like a hundred bucks off. That'd be cool. It'd be nice if they had a program like that. <laughs> they I won't. Def but they won't, but I would definitely do that. Well, games I'll probably do something. Somewhere, yeah. Yeah, it's... We'll see. They're paying pretty good for uh, the Xbox like One Xs and like, mm -hmm. old yeah. Xbox Ones. I mean, think about selling my One X because I never used the damn thing, and they're offering like almost four hundred bucks store credit for it. Yeah, I, I'd definitely do that if I knew I could pick up a Series X the same day. Uh, oh yeah, someday, someday <laughs> they'll be in stock enough. 
But that's it for PSVR. Any other news anybody's heard of? That's the biggest thing that I could find. We we looked before we recorded, and I couldn't find the whole. You were really thing. excited about that dog bounty hunter game. Oh, oh yeah. shit! Thank you. Yeah, uh, that was exciting. We just got news released yesterday. Yeah. That dog the bounty hunters having a game made after them, where you're gonna get to play as dog, <laughs> tracking down fugitives on the run. See, you were going when you were first reading the article. You were like, you ever wanted to experience what it's like to be a bounty hunter? And my first thought was. I could play a Boa Fett game. <laughs> nope. This is better. Nope. Better than Boa Shattered. <laughs> Dreams Dumb. shattered. Dreams shattered. Dreams shattered. Nightmare ending. I'm excited. Yeah, I think that's going to be cool. It'll probably be PC only. Probably. I'll still play But I'll play the fuck yeah. out of it. Uh, what's the name my dog's bounty hunter? I bet my Google Chrome can well, play it. Look, I hope it has skins, and I hope I can get Cartman. As a skin. Oh, for yeah, that'd be cool. Oh, Bear yeah. makes that guy. Yeah, I hope it's a gritty third person <coughs> action game. And, did, you, uh, did you guys ever play the Vin Diesel game Driver? Yes. On the Xbox? It was awful. It was. Right? But I'm for some reason, when I hear Dog the Bounty Hunter, that's what I'm picturing right now. <laughs> Basically, that game. That'd be fine with that. That'd be great. So, like you said, there's not a lot of news right now. January is kind of like. Same with movies where it's kind of like where they just release their games that they don't really care about. Yeah. Um, After the big holiday rush, we'll probably be getting uh, some news soon, though. I know uh sounds like Sony's gearing up to have State of Play. one of their State of Plays yeah, next month. Um, so hopefully, and rumored to be Harry Potter, Legacy. Hogwarts Legacy. So hopefully we'll get a deep dive into that. That would be awesome to see. How that game is shaping out. Maybe even more no news about the PSVR. I know it's a little soon since they've announced it, but be depends cool to get a when they're going to. Yeah, if if it's gearing up to come out, and maybe at Friends the end of the year, got some VR stuff. Ooh, Ooh. totally playable in VR. Yes. Yes. Exclusive. Have, have you guys played uh, Gorn? A little bit. A little. It is a blast. It is. I love that game. It it is just it, it's a gore fest, but it's, it's a fun just hack and slash game with semi decent physics. Yeah, yeah. I've started it, <laughs> haven't gotten into I've, it. I've almost beaten it. It's just, it's just a you're just fighting a coliseum. Have you seen it? Mm -hmm. But like, what's fun with it is there's like lots of different weapons and like hitting someone in the head with a sword or an arrow kills them, kills you too. But uh, <laughs> who would have thought that'd kill you? Yeah. But the fu fun thing is, once you get like kind of like a hang of it, you can like grab people by their face and then like just rip off their arm and then beat them to death with their arm. And and like it is a lot of fun. And, like, <laughs> it is. It, it's just a sandbox coliseum fighting game, and it's it's fun. They have a lot of weapons, a lot of very variety. I have ended up punching a wall Might be on or a rivals. table a couple times. Maybe I'll have to check it if, out. If if not, you can plug in a cable and play yeah. it on Steam. It's like it was on PlayStation VR. Cause that's what I bought it on. Oh yeah. Speaking of games that we've been playing, anybody play anything fun this week? We're playing a lot of Canada uh, Bridge of Spirits, which was a big one during the Game Awards. Uh, I think I'm about halfway through it, and like I've said before, I even got it's a beautiful game. Um, I'm really loving the narrative and like the powers that you start accumulating uh, are awesome, and it's a little. They call it rot, them rots, the little fuzzy um, critters that follow you around. You can get them freaking hats and unlock all these different hats. Like I got a dinosaur one. Um, there's ones where you can have like little mushrooms growing out of their heads. Uh, cat Super hat. Super cute. It's, it's adorable. I think, I think I sent you a few pictures and you can see some of the yeah. hats in there. Throw those up on the screen <coughs> if you get a chance. <coughs> yeah, it looks like a pretty fun, unique game. I uh, definitely want to pick it up. It, I've got quite the backlog <laughs> accumulating because yeah. I have not played anything recently. It's, it was one of my more recent um, purchases that has, has become part of my backlog. Like I saw at the start, um, Death Loop, which was a big one I really wanted to play. I got really caught up with Halo. I need to finish that one. Guardians, you were playing for a while. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I beat that one. Yeah. Uh, I still got to play Far Cry Six. Um, there was a third one. I still gotta finish um, Jurassic Park or Jurassic World Evolution yeah. Two. I've done like the main campaign. That's like a four or five hour campaign, but there's also like 
chaos theory, which you go through the parks and you do it your way, and you actually make them run instead of the customers running. Um, and then there's challenge modes and stuff, a whole bunch of other stuff you can unlock. <coughs> but That's pretty good. Can't even go on either plane. Definitely going to pick that one up. Nick, what have you been playing? Uh, a lot of NBA 2K22. Uh, we were talking before this. I have Zach's PlayStation 5 camera down here, mm -hmm. and I have been doing a lot of like rebuilds and stuff. I think that it's time. I'm starting to get more comfortable now that we're recording this podcast. I'm getting more comfortable, you know, talking. Yeah. With a camera pointed on me and stuff like that. And I, and I, I mean, I I feel like I just got to start putting out stuff like that, even if nobody watches it. I know that. Yeah. The content's not for everybody. It's super fun to me. I spent um, three years on the Detroit Pistons trying to rebuild the Detroit Pistons and win them a championship, and I got one. It, was, it, was like, it wasn't even long. It took me you know, 45 minutes. I could make an episode out of it, yeah. put it on yeah. Twitch, load it to YouTube. But, yeah, we'll but, start putting yeah, some so, of our yeah, likes up. Because someone might like that. Yeah. And on top of that, it's, if you're enjoying it, then yeah. Yeah. like Snoop Dogg Twitches, I mean, I mean streams on Twitch. We watch his streams. Half it. Oh. oh, speaking of Snoop Dogg, we got some news this week. Snoop Dogg is making hot dogs called Snoop's Dogs. When he's be excited. <laughs> <laughs> so Snoop Dogg only streams mad. That's like oh, okay. Yeah, I've seen him play some mad. But he doesn't talk. He like barely talks. It's just him going like, just him damn, this bullshit. And and the funny thing is. Like, he doesn't interact with the chat or anything, and a lot of people go to get it, but, like, he'll lose, and he'll just fucking rage quit, and the scream will just suddenly just cut, mm -hmm. and it's the funniest damn thing. Yeah, I've heard about that. Yeah, I, I've seen some clips of him. Yeah. Doing just that. Just, like, no. Nope. Then he'll walk away for hours, and he'll just sit there on his empty room. Yeah. Yeah, we've talked a lot about doing Let's Plays and stuff like that, we got to start uploading content mm -hmm. like that, I think, so. I've been whether, it's, <coughs> whether it's one person... We'll have a mixed bag. I, yeah. I stream uh, usually about an hour every day, about four to five, uh, on Twitch at Boobity Games. Uh, if you want to watch, it's usually lately has been Far Cry Six and me laughing at it. Yep, shoot me some of those records when we put them on here. Yeah, I definitely. I I have a few. I have some funny ones, but I've been playing Far Cry Six. Yeah. Uh, I think it's shit. <laughs> Still playing it. I'm going to finish it simply out of spite, I feel, at this point. The story's really, really weak. I can give you a, a quick synopsis of it. Spoilers. Spoilers, I guess. You've got 30 seconds. So, you're... Start the timer. <laughs> uh, you're rebelling again. You're obviously rebelling. It's the same premise of every Far Cry game ever. But you're rebelling, and the... Against the president, El Presidente, but the, he's making cancer treatment drugs, okay? And, like, there's a good portion of the game that's focused on destroying the cancer production, cancer treatment drugs. And I'm like, and it's hard for me to be like, yeah, like, this is making me feel great about taking down El Presidente. But he's poisoning the people who are doing that. <laughs> he is. He That's is. why the rebellion. See, that actually has a villain. <laughs> Unlike Encanto. <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh, you you show up way less some respect, <laughs> damn it. Uh, the voice acting is rough. I have a couple of extra recordings that, that I'll send over to him of some of the really bad voice lines I've heard. Uh, that said, Giancarlo did... He sounds very well. Very good. Well, I would assume so. Yeah. He always does. Yeah. He always sounds very well. Yes. Esposito. Esposito. Uh, 30 seconds are up. <laughs> uh, tech, I'm playing on the PS5 version. I'm getting texture pop-ins, like, bad. It's not like, oh, suddenly so there's nothing there. It, it's not like one thing. It's like a whole fucking area popping in at once. I'm on the PS5 version. That shouldn't happen. Like, they, they just don't give a shit. The graphics look like shit. It looks like Far Cry 3. <coughs> yeah, it looks like a early PS4 game at best. Exactly. The, the gunplay feels eh. And I've noticed, as long as you have armor-piercing rounds, you don't really have to do anything. 
I use a I use an unsighted pistol with armor piercing rounds more than I use almost any of my other weapons. And that's even against helicopters and airplanes and tanks. I have literally macheted a tank to death. I just walked in circles and it just kept spinning slowly and yelling at me while I macheted it to death. That's not See the game definitely I mean, can't be shot. I mean, we We've been no, I'm not sure over the last couple versions. Yeah, I was like, I'm not like Far Cry's been on the streak for a while. The best way I can, every time. When I play Far Cry 6, it makes me want to play Far Cry 5. Uh, and when I play Far Cry 5, I want to play Far Cry 4. Yeah. And I, I, play four, I actually enjoy Far I Cry 4. Play three. I, I did enjoy yeah, Far Cry 4. I mean, it was the last one I beat. I've definitely found like enjoyment in all of them. and like I, They all have their problems. Most oh, of them oh. weak story and villains, except for 3. I was going to um, say, uh, not 3. Big Man wasn't too bad either. Th I agree, there's been some problems with 6 and a little bit I've played <laughs> so far. Five, but cool. I've played about 4 hours and I have I mean, had no dude, texture pop-ins. And I'm also on the PS5 cool. version. Yeah, I was like... Again, I have video proof of this shit happening. <laughs> oh no, I believe you. I've seen started I've seen cool. them. Uh, yeah. the the one thing that got me the most was again with the pistol. It's an unsighted pistol. It's not even a good one. It's like a fucking like Pete it it is is nothing. It's like See so in the Far Cry games I usually just run around with a silent sniper rifle and then a bow and arrow and that's it. Well, because of how this game's structured, even if you have a silent sniper rifle if you don't have armor piercing rounds, you're not you're not gonna kill almost anybody. Because the, it'll they'll just absorb the entire bullet. Yeah. It's very frustrating. But also you're that, telling me that there's no towers to take down? Uh no. Well, no I, then I'm out. Yeah, there's no out. towers to uh, climb. There, that was the same thing with there, five. There's had one tower. There's bases. So I didn't play it all the way. There's bases to find and everything. And like there's some cool environmental stuff. Like there's uh like uh rocks being held up by nets that you can blow up. Near roads and like create a blockade or like crush a convoy or something like that. And there's there's the strong points, but like I had to fight against like maybe like twelve planes. Mm -hmm. uh, my sniper rifle wasn't doing anything against it. My I I didn't have any explosives. My my assault rifle didn't do anything. I used that pistol and with I was literally just shooting them out of the air. I would just like no matter how where they were, I wasn't even trying that hard. I would just Aim and then I would just kind of like drag the gun over it, and you would head and you would kill the pilot every time. Hmm. Yeah, I have video of this too. It's a fucking mess. I don't think it's that good. I don't think it's. I I'm think not it's bad. It's that good, but I think it's bad for a Far Cry game. Even it's. I'm only enjoying it simply out of spite. <laughs> okay, I enjoy killing pe killing people and like being like, oh wow, I liberated it. But at the same time. I fucking hate the side characters. They're annoying as fuck. Clara's dumb. The main character's dumb. All the all, everybody except for El Tigre, who is the coolest motherfucker in the game, sucks. They all they're whiny. They're like, <coughs> you can't do a revolution without everybody else. All the fucking time. Okay? It's just Well, I uh And they suck. We will not be suck. picking this up. I will finish this despite Gavin. Give it a great. <laughs> I'm period. going to finish it. You despite give it Gavin. Zach feels. Ten Zach feels despite Gavin. Okay. Yeah. Well, you better have fucking recordings, because I have lots. All right. Of both fun times and bad. I showed Aaron one that's like an eight second one where uh, I managed to miss like an entire clip of my gun and then miss mm -hmm. multiple and then miss multiple melee strikes. That's impressive. We'll have to post it. Because <laughs> you suck at playing like, games, shit, Gavin. Shit, yeah. Shit. yeah. All right, Nick. Let's move right along into upcoming, upcoming game. video games. I think the biggest got? one that we're excited for for the end of January, and I think that we're all gonna pick up Rugby Twenty Two. Yes. What the <laughs> fuck? Yes. No, I'm just kidding. Um, the the biggest game coming out the rest of January that I know that at least a couple of us are gonna play is gonna be Pokemon Legends Arceus. Um, I know that Zach's going to be putting a lot of hours in this game. He's I've, been, I've been waiting for a game like this for so long, and I know like a, a lot of Pokemon fans have been, but yeah, to have a Breath of the Wild-style open-world Pokemon game has been the dream. Yeah, and it looks like they're making it a little bit more um, mature. Uh, just like they're adding that crafting stuff. Crafting, you got to sneak up on Pokemon. you got to tactically figure out the best way to catch them and without I'm just knocking down their life. Points when we were watching that throwing video. powerful balls at them. When we were watching the video, uh, the gameplay video, they don't mention it, but 
if you're watching when they're doing the sneaking part, uh, you, if they catch it with the sneak ball, it gives experience to the Pokemon in this party. Right. So it's like completing a battle, which will either end up being... What I'm worried is the stealth will either be too easy, and you're going to power level hard. But there's also those boss fights and stuff, so I don't know. I think I'll end up picking this up on Switch and mm -hmm. playing it a little bit. Not I'll, as much I'll as play it a little, but I know I won't play it, it hardcore. It'd be cool if they had like a multiplayer mode where yeah. like the Pokemon you catch in the game, you can then connect with your friends and battle in like an online yeah. arena. They, awesome. they, they probably do have that. I don't know if it's purely. You should look that up to see if they've announced. Most it yet, Pokemon games like have that. exactly. That. I know, but like to be able to like just sit in a room and just have cool battle or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, what's next? Uh, for February, the first big one that comes out February 4th, Dying Light 2. I know that this is one that's yes. high on, especially yours in my list. Yeah. Um, Dying Light 1 was one of my favorite games that came out 2018, 2019? Earlier. Earlier than that. Um, God, I don't know. I'm I don't usually get into zombie games a whole lot, but I'm really excited for the four-player co-op for this. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Well, then I might actually have to pick this up as a four player. Yeah, you will. Yeah, I, the four of us can all get it, and I think that we yeah, have really fun last. gameplay, good level design, parkour zombies, parkour, parkour, parkour zombies, parkour zombies. Yeah, there there was a lot in the first one. It's really good. So really um, excited for that. One that I didn't know about until a couple weeks ago, Sifu comes out February eighth, mm -hmm. um, and I still don't know a whole lot on it. I know it's a Japanese style game. Um, it's a martial arts game. Do you remember, uh, you got it as a free game a little bit ago. It was like a martial arts... Oh, God, it was... I don't remember. But it's the, it's, the, it's the same team, and that game w had a cool premise, but this one seems a lot more polished. Yeah, it looks like um, every time you die, you age yeah. Yeah. a certain amount. You become stronger, but you also become like slower. I don't know. I think it, it looks but, really cool. Yeah, it's a different, cool, cool premise. Um, so definitely going to check that out. Uh, one that I know the three of you Absolver. are excited for. Absolver. Remember oh, okay. that game? They made Absolver. Oh, okay. okay. Um, one that I know the three of you are excited about. One that I don't know a whole lot about. Uh, Horizon Forbidden West, February 18th. Oh, yes. Play the first one. I you, need to. You should play the first one. Like it's free. To, yeah, because with the PlayStation's up. You can also play uh, the... Great game. There's a lot of games on there. Giant robot dinosaurs. It's all... <laughs> you have a bow and arrow. It's, it's golden. Yeah. Giant robot dinosaurs. That's all you need to say. That's all you need, Nick. Uh, all right. Somewhat hot redhead. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then February 22nd, the one I know Gavin's most excited about for, Destiny 2, The Witch Queen. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was Martha's Day. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, February 25th, uh, the one that Gavin is actually most excited for. He is definitely going to be the one that puts mm. the most time into this one. Elden Ring. I will be delayed again. I was like, I'll be streaming 2023. 20 I was like, I'll remind everybody, but I'll be streaming this whole game. I've streamed every From Software game from start to finish so far. So this will be the first he does. Uh, just despite him, I'm going to stream it too. Do it. It's You're gonna not going to stream it first. I was like, Zach, you, <laughs> Zach, you haven't even beat Sekiro. Yeah, I have. No, you did. Who's the final boss? Sekiro yeah. doesn't count, Gavin. Yeah, what? No. The guy you fight at the beginning. No. Yeah. No! Have you beat the game, Gavin? Multiple you times! You Here's a go play Sekiro, <laughs> and then you can talk. I just want you to know that I'm dumb. No, because I looked up Elden Ring, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, what's not to like about this game? It's George R. R. Martin, it's Miyazaki. <laughs> and I'm like, this sounds lit, right? Miyazaki, that name sounds real familiar in my head. Oh, that was great. So I type him in. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm thinking of a different Miyazaki that's known for something yeah. much different. <laughs> He's thinking stu Studio Ghibli. Mainly yeah. filmmaking. Yeah. Miyazaki. Yeah. Hit a talk, and I'm like, yeah, you're getting your Miyazakis mixed up. <laughs> uh, I could see where you'd almost believe, I like, think that, though. Oh, yeah, it's... It Makes sense. I mean, I'd be down for that. But nice. He's made all, two he's made all of the Dark Souls games. games. I remember playing Demon Souls. Yes. I don't think I ever played any of the Dark Souls games, but I remember playing Demon Souls and really enjoying it. Uh, That's the only game that they've put out that I've ever played all of it. Uh, the other one I got into was Bloodborne. Uh, Bloodborne is a blast. It's also free with the PlayStation mm -hmm. 5 stuff. And uh, I, know, I know that you love Sekiro. Sekiro is one of my favorites. It is different from the other ones. 
Uh, it's focused more on like parry combat. It was a fun one. Yeah, I loved it. It's I played through it multiple times, and and it was still difficult. Like from software makes difficult games; they don't pull their punches, but it still feels fair. Like I don't feel like oh, I just got screwed because I for no reason. It's usually like I push too hard, or it, it, you don't feel even though it's a very frustrating game and the difficulty's high. It doesn't feel like you're getting just screwed over. It is one that I will definitely watch Gavin's stream of. And you should too. And it, you. It, it's And you. It's like it's like Skyrim, but like with Dark Souls combat and stuff, and I'm so fucking pumped. Yeah, I don't know if it's one that I'll pick yeah, up. Yeah, I don't know if I will opening, or not but, yet. Um, it was like, would be something I wouldn't mind trying. We'll be playing a lot. Same with Sekiro. I would like to play Sekiro at some point. I was like, I'll Fun. stream Sekiro for you guys. I can beat Sekiro in like a couple hours. <laughs> it's not super long. All right, what's next? That's it for game releases for the rest of this month and next month. Those are okay. the biggest ones. Um, outside of that, uh, I did see on the news thing they cast uh, the main character, uh, Ellie, for the Last of Us TV series that's coming out. They cast Ellie? I thought so. I thought, I thought she was already cast. Oh, no, Riley, sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah. okay. Um, and it's from Euphoria. Uh, Storm Rage, she's in the Euphoria. Um, I'm super excited for the last of us TV show. I, think it's I really hope it's good. They, they're working on a lot of um, video game based mm -hmm. TV shows of late. Like we got the Halo series coming to Paramount Plus maybe this year. I, uh, think, I think it is this year. We also have I think I think it was Netflix got rights to do not only a Fallout TV series but an Elder Scrolls universe based TV series. Cool. We right. now have um Uncharted which Pedro Pascal, um the girl one of the girls from uh Game of Thrones, uh the girl you just said from Euphoria and then what else Last for, of Us. Huh? That's for Last of Us. That was for Last of Us. You said Uncharted. Oh, I was sorry. So <laughs> yeah it was too. Um but we also have Uncharted coming out next month. Yeah, yeah. March. Or, right. No, it was next month. Is it this one? Oh, yeah. We just talked about that. Yeah, yeah. So just to see your, your Gilmore girls. It's, it's, it's Gilmore girls. girls. The Gilmore girls. Um, speaking of Netflix, I know that this isn't video game related, but I was telling you guys before the show started, uh, I got an announcement for Netflix that they're coming out with a new show called Welcome to Murderville. Yeah. Um, which is a new show that they're doing with Will Arnett, where he will be solving crimes and mysteries with the special guest every week and the special guest doesn't have a script to the show. Oh jeez. So the special guest is going to have to go along and try and figure out these mysteries with Will Arnett the whole time and I think it's going to be hilarious. Yeah, it Will sounds pretty good, honestly. Yeah. I, I think Will Arnett is a very, very funny guy. Yeah. Uh, he's not like my fa favorite actor or anything, but I like... I love BoJack. It's one of my favorite shows. So, anything else for games anybody want to throw in there? No. What are you most excited for next? Well, I mean, we know he's excited for Elden Ring. Dying Light. Dying Light. Uh, out of uh, the next two months, Dying Light. I'm so excited. Far. I'm really excited for Dying to May. Light, too. Because it's going to be Horizon for me. Because Dying Light is a co-op game, and I feel like Dying Light with all of us would be a fucking blast. That's what I'm most excited for because of it. What is that? That's... But I am really excited for Fourth? Forbidden West. Yeah, that one's soon. We, we might. We could probably split that one. Mm, see what we, I'll see what I can do. Uh, outside of that, stay tuned to our Twitch channel, Split Screeners. I think it's just Split Screeners. Um, I might be uploading an episode this week. Let's yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just... There's no might in it. You're doing it. <laughs> okay. You're posting it. Yeah, all you do is hit the share button, go to broadcast, put a name in. You can you can make it really basic. I like to do stu I like to put dumbass things. You can look things. forward to that this weekend. 